Good evening. Tonight, the fast spreading Omicron variant sweeping across this country and driving an ongoing surge in cases, possibly impacting New Year's Eve plans for many, many families. The U.S. now reporting 265,000 cases per day. This surpasses a record reached in mid-January. In New York, the state reporting another single day record, 74,000 new cases. And Erie County also reporting a new record, 2,800 new cases. Yesterday, that number was below 600 just two weeks ago. But hospitalizations are lagging behind. In Erie County, there are 289 COVID-19 patients. That is well below the peak that we hit last winter. With this new wave of cases, many are wondering how can they safely celebrate the new year? Well, senior reporter Eileen Buckley spoke with the experts today who continue to warn about gatherings for those who are not vaccinated. Obviously, it's critical that if anyone is symptomatic, they should stay home and not partake in any of the upcoming celebrations. With many planning to attend the annual downtown Buffalo ball drop to ring in 2022, infectious disease specialist Dr. Thomas Russo says unless you are fully vaccinated and boosted, you should avoid large gatherings. I appreciate that not everyone has been boosted and a means for additional protection is if you're able to get your hands on those rapid tests, test the day of the gathering and make sure everyone is negative. And here in the village of Lancaster, a ball drop will be held for the first time in 20 years. And the mayor says she believes being outdoors should be safe for everyone. We're hoping to create an environment that we can celebrate, but also be safe on the aftermath and that everyone can continue to be healthy with their families. Village of Lancaster Mayor Lynn Ruda says they are planning a ball drop on West Main and North Aurora streets that will begin Friday at 10 with a midnight ball drop and fireworks to follow. We've been working with our emergency services throughout the planning of this event and making sure that we're going to be doing everything that keeps everybody safe and uh, we're confident that we'll be able to do that. Mayor Ruda says it's important for those planning to attend to use common sense and consider wearing masks. I think that the safer the better and if, if we can keep everybody safe that would be best. What about mask wearing if you are at these outdoor events? If you're outdoors, in close quarters with a large number of individuals for a prolonged period of time, and particularly with the Delta and Omicron variants where individuals that are infectious shed large number of particles, you're still at risk for potentially getting infected. So by wearing a high quality, well-fitting mask, that'll afford an extra degree of protection. How worried are you that these gatherings are going on as planned? I think that we saw a large increase in cases after the Christmas gatherings. And likewise, we're going to see a further increase in cases after the New Year's celebrations. Dr. Russo says even with research showing Omicron appears to lead to less severe illness compared to other COVID variants, you should not take it lightly. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News. And again, this is for anyone headed to the Buffalo ball drop tomorrow night. The city is asking that you wear your mask and they recommend only coming downtown if you are fully vaccinated. That ball drop will take place outside the electric tower in Roosevelt Plaza. You'll also be able to watch it live right here, as always, on 7ABC.